Effective teams need one critical thing, conflict. They need cooperation, but they also need conflict. Differences of opinions and ideas and experience and attitudes and cultures clashing, those things are useful. Now conflict, of course, gets a bad reputation in teams and organizations because it oftentimes messes us up, right? Conflict can derail us and distract us and it makes most of us really crazy anxious. But under the right conditions, conflict actually brings energy to a team and can bring focus to a team and really sort of motivate you. So the question is not whether conflict is good or bad for teams, it just is. The question is what are the conditions under which conflict is actually useful for the team and functional in moving us forward? Think about it. Without conflict, we don't learn if there aren't clashing ideas. We don't innovate or create or, or lead, it won't lead to sort of progress in the social realm. We need conflict, but we need to be able to manage it effectively and constructively. And what is the major condition that leads to more constructive conflict in groups? Cooperation. Cooperation helps. If you have conflict in a cooperative context, you see more effective uh, team dynamics. Why is that? Because human beings are emotional and teams are made up of emotional human beings. When any of us are in conflict, it triggers in us some kind of anxiety or fear or concerns, right? So there is a profound emotional experience that we have in conflict in teams or, or outside of teams. Um, but it's not just that we feel emotional, it's that our emotions affect how we perceive conflict, how we read it.